So as we've gotten more experience with uh, treating kids with cerebral vascular disorders, the great news is that the kids are living their full lives and becoming active and growing up, which is a very satisfying thing as a physician to see your patients getting older, although it makes me feel old. The flip side of that, though, is that we really need to understand how do we follow these kids over the long term. And one of the big advantages of Boston Children's is we've got a great infrastructure unique to cerebral vascular disease to really follow these kids comprehensively. We will have a full network of neuropsychological testing, uh, neurology uh, follow-up, um, uh, surgical follow-up, interventional radiology follow-up, uh, imaging, in addition to enrolling the kids as necessary or as they're interested in clinical trials, research programs, and so on. This is a very invested multidisciplinary group, but long term, many of the kids really just have a once a year visit. Um, typically in the first few years, we'll get some imaging, and then as they get older, we space that out to just clinical visits and then imaging every few years. We do like to keep tabs on these kids, and we've written papers looking at them decades out. They do extremely well in most cases, but the good news is that we've got that sort of safety net here, both to make sure and reassure the parents the kids are doing well, and also uh, to really help the kids move forward to grow up and get into their you know, full regular lives.